Hi everyone, my name is Jeremy and welcome to Lake Haven Chrysalis. So this is the prologue for an upcoming indie horror game called Lake Haven. This is the prologue chapter and it says that Detective Zeke Reynold is called to investigate what he assumes will be another case he'll quickly forget, but what he finds will be sewn into the fabric of his existence forever. So this is a third person horror Adventure game? It looks retro, it looks cool, so let's check it out. The words he used to explain the case were so usual in my line of work. A woman in her late 20s last seen a few weeks ago. But this time something was off. I felt it in my bones. I wouldn't be coming home tonight. Cool. Oh, that's actually very interesting. Very cinematic in a way. Wow, this is super retro. We have tank controls. And the frame is very low. Interesting. It seems like it's intentional. It doesn't seem like... Because the game is running fine, but it says it's 20 frames per second, which is interesting. Ooh. Oh, the bad thing is that I need to use the control pad. I'm trying not to use the, key the mouse and keyboard because right now I'm having a little bit of trouble with my... I think it's a carpal tunnel? Whatever. And I'm using the controller, but you can't use the joystick. Okay. Oh, I didn't explore the house. Wait. What do we have over here? There's a trapdoor to the basement. It's bound by heavy chains. A padlock is securing the chains. Oh, the graphics have like this weird water effect. It's a letter. James letter. Dear Eleanor, I can't take it anymore. Last night I could hardly recognize you. You are not the woman I met at college. You are not the woman I fell for. You are not the woman I married. I know you've had a rough few months, but I, so have I. Right now I have to look after myself because I sense some terrible purpose behind your gaze and I fear for my safety. Please forgive me for leaving you here with love, James. Front door is locked. The mailbox mailbox is stuffed with unopened mail. September 22nd, 1988. Letters from Marianne. Dear Eleanor, I am writing this letter because I don't know what else to do. You didn't respond to any of my phone calls. Are you alright? 
And I heard about what happened between you and James, and while I know it's difficult to cope in these kinds of situations, locking yourself away is the worst thing you can do, dearie. I will drive over to check in on you in person, but my hips have still not quite recovered from the operation. You're always welcome here, though, Eleanor. You know that. Your friend, Marianne. Dear Eleanor, it's been two weeks since I sent you my letter. I am really concerned about you. Please give me a sign that you're okay. Your friend, Marianne. October 3rd, 1988. Dear Eleanor, I really don't want to do this, but if I don't hear from you soon, I'll have to contact the police, your friend, Marianne. Yep. So I guess her friend was the one who called. Looks like it hasn't been driven in a while. Okay, so it, it has 10 controls. The, the camera is more like dynamic. It's fixed and dynamic at the same time, I think. So I, I don't control it. It moves with me, so... There's a mound of loose dirt. Maybe there's something buried here. The door won't bush. Wait. Oh, I can't interact with that? What the heck? What's that? Oh, that's pretty creepy. The stables are empty. I wonder where the animals went. It's a needle. Nothing special about it. I was, it was like finding a needle and a. Nah, forget it. Will you bother taking the ordinary needle? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I I I just pressed the A button. I did not see anything there. So. It's so weird. The game, the the frame rate reader says it's it's running at twenty four frames, right? And like I said, I, I I know it's by design, but the game feels so smooth. I'm so confused. <laughs> it's an old looking book. Will you take the book? Yes, yeah. you got the book. Any, anything else here? Is there a shovel here? It's a large pail of hay. Pile of hay. The golden arrow. It's some kind of fairy tale, but I haven't heard of it. Can I? Oh, yes. Okay. All of the pages are blank. Hmm. What's this? You got the dry poppy. A dry poppy was used as a bookmark. I could think of something better to use as a bookmark, but I don't want to right now. Okay. I don't want to get mud all over my good shoes. 
the door won't budge. Is there anything else here? It's too bulky to carry around. Well, I think we're done here. That's, there's an old ladder leading down the well. Descend the ladder? Yes. Let's check the door first. The cavern is blocked by some heavy stone doors. It looks like there's a space to put something in one of the doors. Judging by the blood stain, it appears to be a sacrificial altar. A large stone plate depicting a chimera is fixed to the wall behind it. A key is resting on the altar. It's a heavy key. Will you take the heavy iron key? Yes. Yeah. You got the heavy iron key. Okay. There's a relief on the wall. It looks like something can be set here. Okay, that, that opens up. That's pretty obvious. Where do I have to use the key? A beautiful crafted old iron key. Wait, there's something on the wall. Looks like a diary entry. That's such a weird place to leave a diary page. February 7th, 1985. Last, dear diary, last night I had the most frightening dream. I was lost in a large hole with giant stone columns set upon an ever expanding marble floor. With a chessboard pattern, there were four men standing in front of me, taunting me, laughing at me, and telling me that I won't be the same person afterwards. What do they mean? Three of them had their faces covered with strange tendrils and flowers. The fourth man's face was also obscured, but somehow he felt different to the others. Somehow I felt empathy from him. All I could think about is how I wanted him to just turn around and tell me everything would be okay, but he seemed to be looking for someone else. May 19th, 1985. Dear Diary, I'm so tired. The creeps from my dreams refuse to let me sleep. Every time I'm about, uh, every time I'm about to drift off, one of them appears, whispering thoughts in my ear that I dare not write down, lest I make these abominable things real. I don't want to tell James what's happening to me, as kind as he did, as he is. One man would stay with someone broke, broken as I. Ah. So I guess he was experiencing some type of mental problem. She was being like haunted in her dreams by the same figures. And if she told her husband, her husband would think that she was crazy. Okay. So the key is not for there. The windows are very dirty, it's hard to see what's in there, but I can hear a voice emanating from inside. Okay, it's locked. You use a heavy iron key. Let's go in. It looks like I was too late. By my by my estimate, she's been here for over a week. She appears to have suffered several lacerations. Although the ultimate cause of death remains unclear. I should search the area for clues. I'll get to the bottom of this. What is that?
This, this is pretty cool. <laughs> Fuck weird. U.S. Department of Agriculture. Forest Service. Hopefully this doesn't get copyright claim. <laughs> okay. Patterns of the Wild. Cool. That's pretty cool. It's a grandfather clock. The hands are missing. Uh, can can they turn it off? Come on. You didn't deserve this. The table is still set for dinner. What happened here? Looks like a diary entry. September, September 21st, 1985. Dear Diary, I told James everything today. I wasn't able to keep it secret anymore. I can't even remember the last time I slept. Over the last few weeks, he has shown much concern for me. He says I'm looking pale and that I have not been acting myself. I have tried to get him to understand the glimpses of truth that I have witnessed. But he doesn't look at me like I'm crazy. But he just looks at me like I'm crazy. He even asks if I was on drugs. He doesn't know me at all. I have to sleep, but how many more times will I be saved to enter my dreams until they finally get me? January 5th, 1986. Dear Diary, I'm feeling much better since the doctor prescribed me the antipsychotic medication. He says I'm not psychotic. He just gave me, gave me them off-label for sleeping. When I take them, I am knocked unconscious within an hour and I evade the dreams entirely. It's so relieving to wake up in the morning, even if my limbs feel as, as though they're weighed down by sandbags, I can live again. The oven is old and rusty. It looks like it hasn't been used for quite a long time. It's a rusty key. Will you take the rusty key? Yes, I'll take the rusty key. It creates like a very genuine uh, ambiance. The fact that you have the TV on. Well, like an actual show. That's pretty cool. Door is locked. Okay. Uh... Ooh, this is super dark. Looks like a diary entry. Another one. February 4th, 1987. There's something else in the house besides me. I thought that James had come home early from visiting his sister in Lake Haven. But there's no... I can hear something. But there's no sign of his car, so it can't be him. I keep hearing an unsettling sound coming from the attic. It sounds like a mixture of whispering and slithering. I finally mustered the courage to investigate the attic. To my surprise, there wasn't a single living soul in sight. But my eyes must have, be must have betrayed me as I could still hear this incessant whispering as if it's being spoken through my bones. I can hear it too. The light bulb is missing. It's so dark in here I can barely see anything. Yep. It's a painting of the Valley of Poppies. Maybe it ha this has something to do with the poppy I found. Aha. Uh -huh. There's a small button on the frame. Push the button? Yes. There's a secret compartment behind the painting. All those years of blindly poking at buttons are finally paying off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a key. It feels good in my hand. Will you take the iron key? Yes. Okay, I'm loving the atmosphere of this game. Pretty solid. You use the rusty key. Okay. 
It's a toolbox, it's locked. Okay. I get it. There's a heavy metal door, it has a keyhole. Underneath the keyhole is another tiny hole. Okay. Okay, I can't do anything with that right now, I guess. There's a hole there. Okay. Okay, maybe I need to use the little iron key here. You use the iron key. Yep. It seems to be a makeshift shrine of sorts. Only one of the verses is still legible. Read the verse. Bible verse, Mark 1, 9 through 11. At that time, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. Just as Jesus was coming up out of the water, he saw heaven being torn open and the spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven. You are my son whom I love. With you, I am well pleased. Okay. It's a heavy stone plate and boasts with a depiction of an archer. Will you take the archer plate? Yes. Okay, we know where that goes. But I, I need two of them. There's nothing else here? Great. Some kind of slimy old meat. I don't recognize his source. Maybe I should take it as evidence. Should I take the rotten flesh? Yes. Okay. So it's dark outside. I can I can barely see anything. I mean, there has to be something else here. I have a deep fear of finding a snake in one of these. So many boxes. Was she planning on moving? Okay, I have this. I'm, I'm missing another one because I need two of them. And I need like another key. It's in the relief, what a relief. Okay, so I guess I only needed one. It's a light bulb, yes. Progress! Okay, it goes over here. Do you use the light bulb? The lamp is switched on now. What a cozy place to sit down and read a th thrilling book. There's a hash in the ceiling. Pull the cord, yes. The pull cord snapped. Either I'm stronger than I thought, or this is pretty flimsy pull cord. If only there was some way to reach the hash. Oh, there's a door here. Actually, there are two doors. The doorknob is missing. There's no way to enter. The door is locked. There's a crescent moon engraved in the doorknob. Yes, the shovel looks like it's seen better days, but still, I can dig with it. You take the shovel? Okay. Cool. That's what I needed.
You use the shovel. The shovel's handle came loose. You got the shovel handle. What's that? Simple small key. Will you take the simple small key? Yes. And maybe it's for this? You use a small key. Nice. It's a crowbar. Holding this makes me want to grow a goatee. Is that like a Half-Life reference where you take the crowbar? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I love the, the comments that the character is doing. It's pretty, pretty entertaining. And it gives the game like a very particular mood where it's horror, but still he, he, he makes comics that are actually kind of funny. Okay, I've raised the... Uh, I raised the frame rate. I didn't notice you could raise the frame rate. Now it looks much more smoother. But the 24 frames per second look really good too. And I took off the CRT filter. Like and with its original settings, it still looked really good. So, oh, maybe I can use this. No, okay. I thought maybe I could use it like one of the hands of the clock. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm missing. Oh, wait, there's another door here. I didn't see it. It's a bathroom. Okay, that was my bad. This bathroom hasn't been cleaned for a long time. Okay, obviously I need to use a crowbar here. There we go, the crescent moon key. Yes. Just an ordinary shower. You use the crescent moon key. A steaming cup of coffee is resting on the table. The rich taste of coffee always helps me relax. Oh, okay, say progress. Cool. Oh, we're saved. There are some diary pages laying on the drawer. April 7th, 1987, just James came back from his business trip today. Something seems off with him, but I can't put my finger on it. His eyes have been, have they always been green? What is he keeping from me? July 9th, 1987, they are real. The three men are real. Why is James lying to me, telling me that I'm delusional? Last night, one of them was looming over me while we were in bed. I felt his hideous presence within two feet of me, and James still had the nerve to tell me it was all in my head. Probably sleep paralysis, he said. I don't want this to start all over again. A double bed. A double bed. One side looks more slept in than the other. There's a page from a book here. Loose page number one. The people of the village looked on in terror as the beast's hideous visage crested the mound of rocks to the east. A wretched screech was enough to make a wretched screech was enough to make all the king's men take a flight. All bar one, that is. The valiant archer drew his bow in defiance and unleashed a devastating bolt of iron and oak that ripped through the chimera's heart with absolute divine authority. Cool. You got a loose page. Come on with the book. 
You added the page to the book? The painting depicts the baptism of Jesus by John. 60, 40, 15? Someone painted some numbers over it. I'm not exactly an art critic, but it probably looked better before the, the new additions. Yeah, dude. It's a painting of an eagle flying over a creek. Nice. Damn, I look tired. Maybe I should take a break. There are no clothes in the wardrobe. Was she planning to leave? Okay, that's for the attic. This could be useful. Oh, an old hook. Let's go. Yeah, there is a quite a bit of screen tearing though. Okay, 60, 40, 15. Okay, you use the hook. I still can't quite reach it. Okay, there we go. You use the hook with the hand. That did the trick. and all safe looks pretty solid despite its age turn the dial uh 60 uh. a diary entry looks like it was hastily written this one's february 10 1987 the voices are getting louder and the way they rattle my bones becomes more and more unbearable by the day i told james to follow me to the attic but he said that he couldn't hear anything he must be deaf not to hear such a cacophony. Either that or he's lying to me. Oh no. Yeah, she was fully psychotic. I don't know why the doctor told her that she wasn't. She sure liked these rugs. There we go. There's a loose page in here. As the creature writhed and squirmed in a pool of its own blood, the archer raised both of his hands directly above him and exclaimed, This is thy time, foul beast. Thy flesh thou shalt forfeit for the breath of your sins. It was midnight when the final blow fell upon the beast. Its flesh was placed on an altar and only then was the chimera slim body sent in its final resting place. Yes. What happened to the audio? Oh, wow, that's creepy.
I put it in, but nothing. I guess we've all been here. Maybe I'm missing something. So having square shaped stone play depicting a chimera. It appears to be very old judging by the sign of the weather. Maybe I can use the rotten flesh? Oh yes, you use the rotten flesh. Flesh is on the altar, I wonder what's hap what happens now. Okay, clock hands. So grandfather clock, the hands are in place now, set the time. How am I supposed to know the time? It was midnight, okay. Okay, there we go. I guess we can go put the chimera block where it goes. Okay, so I can shoot. Even though I don't see any any like uh, amount of bullets. Use the chimera plate. Okay, doorknob. turned off the TV yeah not only that where's the body okay everything's fine no need to be scared <laughs> right what the heck no 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 what the heck am I supposed to shoot at you no what Oh my god, oh my god. Remember that this game has a manual save system, so if I die, I go back. We don't want that. And there was a precipice behind me. What the heck? She's holding something. 
Letter to James, October 1987. Dear James, I found out that you've, you're living in your sister's house now. I'm so sorry for what I did to you. I never wanted to hurt you with the, the things I said. None of them were true. I love you. Please come back. I miss being here with you, Eleanor. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, God. You use the doorknob. Fitz, I should be able to use the door now. What happened here? This room is damp and moldy. I am ready. I'm already starting to feel dizzy. I shouldn't stay for too long. Okay, duly noted. It looks like a diary entry. June 2nd, 1987. I knew it. James is one of them. Why is he doing this to me? The only thing I can feel is hatred. Every time he touches this to me, my skin crawls. I can't bear him being here. I told him to leave. December 16, 1987. James came back home, but this time something about him seems even more off than last time. I don't have any options left. The next passage is unreadable. I was cro it was crossed out several times after it was written down. I dug a hole in the garden. I hope it's big enough. Okay, what else is here? It's a large stone tablet. There's an insignia of an angel carved into it. Will you take the, the angel insignia? Yes, we know where this goes. And now we leave. Use the angle insignia. Uh huh. That's actually a very pleasant sound each time you manage to do something. Oof. Okay. Wow, this looks really good. That camera angle is fire, dude. Oh god, very cinematic. He is on his way to the east. What is what is this? The Wizard of Oz? She was alone, a prisoner of her rotting hollow of flesh and bones. And for a long time she didn't feel anything. Until the inner circle reached out its hand to her. I'm Lewis. And suddenly she understood she was dead, just she lived. She went into the state of chrysalis. She did well. I'm so proud of her. He talks to a Sam. Just a coincidence? Dying is living. Look at her. She looks like Eleanor. That's impossible. What is what is this? Looks like an atta it attaches to something. Will you take the strange iron shade? Yeah, it attaches to what? Okay, so the only thing I haven't used is the needle at this point. That's pretty cool. Hey, 
Okay, I need to combine this with something. Okay. Hmm, I guess I'll never know what the smaller hole was all about. If I carry on further, I might not be able to turn back. Really use the basement key? Yeah. Okay. Cool. The phone is disconnected. Who would I even call? What's that supposed to be? The phone is ringing, answer the phone. When the moon is bright, hiding under all that might, a subtle whimper barely leaves. His mouth as he struggles to breathe. Will this tale ever end? Okay, this is getting very trippy. I'm assuming that's one of the dudes, right? Or do that's
Welcome to Lake Haven. Wow. Well, that's gonna be it for my playthrough of Lake Haven Chrysalis. I have only positive things to say about this, okay? Awesome. I just love that this, like, this renaissance of retro PS1 style horror games are so good, so good. Especially with the technology that we have nowadays where we can play a game like this at 60 frames and it still looks retro and feels retro. I love that. Um, so. I guess the only complaint I have about the game is there's a little bit of screen tearing. That's the only thing. Because beyond that, I love the fact that you can choose between 24 frames or 60 frames. Because the 24 feels smooth but re very retro. The 60 feels much more smoother and modern. Even though the game still looks retro. The filter looks really good. And the gameplay is solid. It's just so solid. The camera angles were really cool. The tank controls, you need to get used to them again. You know, because nowadays they that's not, very, that's not used very much. But it's still... The game feels really good. The exploration, the the atmosphere was spot on. The commentary from the character was really good. And the story, it's very interesting. This is just like the prologue. So I really want to play this game, okay? I'm going to keep an eye on it. And I'm going to follow the, the developer on Twitter. Because it was really good. So if you guys haven't checked it out, pick it up. It's only like $3 on Steam. And it's a must play. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good, honestly. So in regards to the story, apparently you're you're just investigating what happened to this lady who started having like really weird dreams. And from, the, from her husband's perspective, she was psychotic. And she was taking medication for that. And the medication helped initially. But she kept seeing these people, the same people in her dreams. And she couldn't sleep very well. And apparently, I, I'm not very clear as to what that has to do with anything, because it's very cryptic, at least in the, at this point, because this is supposed to be a prologue, remember. But that's basically what happened. His, her husband left her. He went to live with her with his sister. Her friend called the police because she didn't get an answer after her. She sent multiple letters. And from we, what we saw, she she was dead. Either Even though she came back to life when we killed her. So I'm not sure what's happening there. But there's something really creepy and supernatural happening. At least from a prologue standpoint, it's it sold me on the game and the story. So that's going to be it for my playthrough of Lake Haven Crisales. I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hi everyone, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with our content.